it's Shale's birthday today and we are going to the Peninsula Hot Springs. I just got a message from Shale. She's coming. I'm so excited. I'm packed. And that there is the alcohol. I'm so excited. Seriously. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shale. <laughs> How embarrassing because I think mixed kids are awake. But hurry up, Shale. I want the ball. It did your birthday. Happy birthday, Shale. Yeah. Thank you. This song. So. What character is this? Looking at the two men. That is. Oh, Mama Mia. Mama Mia. That's the Mia cat. That's not what we were thinking, but it kind of has a loop blush. I feel. Um, that's disgusting. <laughs> you did that on purpose. I yeah. did not. So, Shale, are you having a good birthday? I'm having a bad birthday. It's 8.33 a.m. And um, we just, because we're so classy. Yeah, I'm definitely recording now. <laughs> I'm definitely recording now. I was fake recording before. I just kept thinking I was fake recording. But no, babe. We got you oh. on camera. I'm leaving you like I know it's your birthday but it's fucking freezing quickly girls oh, 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 holy shit out of like 110 being the freeziness freeziness that's what I'm talking about I couldn't even put my robe on properly I was that fucking cold oh my wine like this yeah Your jandals. And then you gotta do the whole turn back. Come on, come There's always that one moment. I got your ass really good in this too. Is that yours? No, yes. that's this. Oh my cider. god. Cider. Yeah, it was cider. I can't even get me like stepping down the steps because I've got really ugly toes. That's for only like old yeah. people. Yeah, Nick would be allowed in. Uh, is that what the 3840 meant or is that the temperature? <laughs> get out. <laughs> this video is just going to be entirely us walking up a fucking hill. <laughs> Good, how are you? Oh. No, you just have to like smash it out. <laughs> no, but thank you. Good. She's such a good friend, guys. 
really wants me to get these good photo opportunities. Do you guys like hear my breathing? Oh, it's really difficult up here and it's fucking freezing, but we're making the most of it. No, I've just been going in the water. <laughs> Jokes, guys. Joking. Oh, Yes, girl. Shale. So this is just to remember that not too long ago you were on, what would we call it now, a death row? Yeah. <laughs> and now how do you feel? Fantastic. You feel fantastic. And you're happy to be here. Yeah. I know. So everyone knows that my, me and my nana, we're like best friends. I'll get down here, aren't we nana? Yeah. And then we got told that you weren't going to make it and you even said you weren't going to make it and now look at you. Yeah. And when we've been fighting the doctors and the nurses so you can yeah. get downstairs and do what you like. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, this is just a little reminder that we should always tell people that we love, who we love, that we love them, yeah. shouldn't we? And you love me lots, right? Oh, absolutely. I'm your favourite? Absolutely. I knew that. Give me a kiss. And yeah, so I tried to keep, I was going to keep it private, remember Nana? And then I thought, well, look at you sitting here living your best life. I mean, this woman can get through absolutely anything, can't you? Mm. So far. Do you have any tips, Nana, on what makes a good life? No. Um, <laughs> you don't have any tips? No, just keep at it. Just keep at it. Always be and nice. always be nice to people. Even what about people that we think are bitches? They, we still have to respect their yeah. attitudes. See, I don't get the niceness from you. Yeah. You're too nice. <laughs> no. Yeah. But um, and what I was telling people the other day, Nana, that the only regrets you have in life is not getting your license. That's the only regret I've got. You've lived a good life. You're yeah. happy with everyone. Yeah. You, and you said that it doesn't matter how many friends you have, as long as you have good friends. Yeah. Well, I love you. I love you. So, thank you guys. So, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Say that, Nana. Thank you guys to transcribing to my <laughs> new channel. Is that what you said? Right on the money, Nana. <laughs> 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 All right, say so bye. Bye. <laughs> And this is where I've been sleeping because no, no, wait, wait. oh shit, fuck! I just, oh. I just fell over. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't get up and help me, Nana. So this is the place that I've been staying in the last God knows how long I've been here since being in Wangaratta. Oh, there's a whole bunch of guys over there that's so awkward. Um, but yeah, 
I've literally just been staying here on my own for this long and I'll just show you my room. I mean, it's not like five star. Better lock this shit. Because, you know, we don't want anyone to kidnap me. But I mean, it's as good as it's gonna get. Am I right? <laughs> um, but yeah, this is what my life has been all about since my nana got sick. But now that she's not dying right now. <laughs> Um, I'm living my, oh look, I look fat as fuck in this, this is just really big guys, like I'm not really that fat. This has been, um, the most, I can't actually put it into words, the emotions that I've been feeling the last two weeks, like you can see the bags under my eyes, like I'm not sleeping. Um, we got told that she was dying, she had about a week to live, and then she went into palliative care, and then she had about four days to live, and then all of a sudden, they took all everything, you know, when, when people go into palliative care, they take um, everything out of your, your, like your tubes and your fluids and stuff, and they just give you stuff to make you comfortable well. She didn't even need any of that, she just got up. I wheeled her into the shower to shower her, wash her hair, dry her, dry her, dry her, oh my God, dry her hair, and then, she just came good and like I have been praying to all the gods and everyone around me just telling them to like think about my nana and hope for the best like even the anesthetic surgeons and stuff like have come in today and were like Barbara what the fuck like there's no medical reason or like anything to explain how she's still living right now like we were about to plan her funeral like and this is the necklace she's given me you might always see me wearing this and I never really take it off and I'm just like what the fuck like I was in limbo for so long because I was up here just waiting for it to happen and there was no there was no option that she may have come out she might come out of it like she had a bowel obstruction it like blew up in her belly and they couldn't un they couldn't do operate an operation on her because she's 25 kilos and she's 76 or 77 years old so yeah there was this was not like this wasn't even in this wasn't even a thought that she may come out of hospital like there was no coming out of hospital until she had passed away and she hasn't passed away like I have my nana back like and I know I'm thinking really far ahead right now because um She's not out of hospital, but I mean, like, she's doing so much better. Like, they're starting stuff. They're starting to give her food. They're talking about when she comes home, so she's not going to stay in Wangaratta. She will come live with my dad in Melton, and I will become my nana's full-time carer. And I'm totally fine with that because it's just like I'm hanging out with my best friend. Like, we can both shower together, nana. Woo! <laughs> like, she can. I can brush her dentures and whatever. Like. I'm totally fine with someone, I'm totally fine with me looking after my nana. As I was saying, so yeah, I've never lost someone by the way. Um, I've never lost um, a family member, a friend, a close relative, like I've never lost someone ever. So um, this was really big for me because everyone was quite worried about how I would deal with it because it's not just like I'm losing anyone, I'm losing my best friend. But yeah so I was in a real real dark place like I didn't know what to think I couldn't even have a conversation with someone and not think to myself like how am I living and she's about to die like the thoughts that were running through my head were crazy um but yeah like you would have seen at the start of this vlog that I was at Shale's birthday so we were driving up to um Mornington Peninsula in the car we're having the time of our lives and literally probably five minutes before we got there, I got a call saying Nan's in hospital and I'll keep you updated on what's happening. And I started crying because I'm like, Nan shouldn't be in hospital. And then um, I spent the day at the hot springs with Shale and it was really bad because I was crying off and on and I just felt like I ruined her birthday. And then it got to the point where I had to leave. So Michael drove all the way from Melbourne to the Peninsula. No, he drove from, he was, M Michael was working in the city and then drove all the way home to grab his car and then drove all the way to the Mornington Peninsula to get me and then drove all the way to Angretta so I could see my Nana straight away and then yeah so I've just got such amazing people in my life that would do things like that for me like I know I shouldn't feel guilty because I feel like I ruined Shell's birthday <laughs> really Nana ruined it I was like Nan 
don't be so selfish it's Santa's it's Shell's birthday but um yeah that's that's where we're at at the moment that's why I started this vlog you're probably like what the hell she looks like she was having so much fun and now she's not having so much fun but um yeah so my Nana's doing okay. She's not out of the woods yet, but I mean, she's not dying. Well, she's dying, but it's like it can happen in a year's time now, where before I, I, we got given a date. And to get given a date, and then the date's coming along, and you're like full crying and stressing out, because you're like, fuck, what am I going to do the rest of my life when like, you're not going to be here? And then now she is here. It's just a crazy situation. Like, I'm so tired, because I've just been at the hospital for like morning till night sometimes get there at three in the morning like it's just I'm so tired like obviously I've got no makeup on now you can see the bags underneath my eyes like it's all natural I'm just so tired but I just can't sleep because I actually felt a bit guilty for being able to go back to a room and sleep when Nan was in hospital really sick but she's doing really well now so yeah I'm like really happy at the moment and yeah so, <laughs> that's pretty much my life at the moment. So, I'm pretty much going to leave the vlog here. Um, it was just supposed to be about Shale's birthday. And I was supposed to go horse riding. And it was supposed to be really fun. But that didn't happen. So, but like, this vlog is a vlog. And I'm showing you what real life is all about. And how th life can literally take a turn for the worse. The most, at the most unexpected time. So, yeah. Um, this weekend I'm supposed to go to a Johnny Cash tribute show with Michael so I'm going to be vlogging that because fuck that's going to be hilarious. I also have um, my skincare routine that's coming out next week and I'm also going to do a couple of videos with a couple of my friends. I'm not telling you what they are yet but I'm back on track now. I was gone for a while because obviously I was dealing with a lot of stuff um, with my family and it really like my mental state was not great like I was not doing well so I couldn't think of anything worse than video recording all that shit but anyway I am back and yeah thank you guys so much for taking the time out to even watch the vlogs I know my previous one was fucking shit so no one really watched it but I'm coming back and I'm gonna do well and I'm gonna do great because I've got you guys behind me and supporting me non fucking stop so yeah thank you guys just thank you guys so much for always being there for me and um, yeah, bye guys.